Up in the ring, Boyd Pierce, and he's all set to introduce this event. Let's pick him up. This event, two out of three falls, one hour time limit in the blue corner, returning at 270 pounds from Germany, Carl von Krupp. And his opponent, 245 pounds, Mexico City, Super Sock, Jose Lothario. What is the matter with your stupid head? I am still a European champion, master of the German club. Ladies and gentlemen, adding to the introduction of Carl von Krupp, still the European heavyweight champion. So Carl von Krupp, who in his last appearance in the city of Houston, or his appearances here during the year of 1978, turned in some wild and important battles. He has returned since then to Europe to become the European heavyweight champion. And here he is back in the city of Houston again in the Coliseum, the scene of so many of his difficult and important scraps to face a man who, to whom every scrap is important, and that's Jose Lothario. Lothario lost a tooth last week. And that in itself means that he's going to be watching the fist work of Von Krupp particularly. Von Krupp is a dangerous individual. He is dangerous with his style of wrestling and he is dangerous with the fact that he is constantly out to try to injure his opponents. Twisting arm lock now for Lothario. Referee Irish Danny McShane checking in with Von Krupp. And you can see that he has no compunction about putting an end to his problems by stepping through the ropes. This is the first fall of a two out of three fall match. And both of these men feeling each other out. On bar. Von Krupp holding the hold and trying to work the old pump handle trick on that left arm. He was maneuvering to get underneath the elbow with it. The twist and the turn on the arm, it gives Von Krupp the full command of the situation, but Lothario is still in a position from which he can go on the offense. Aggressive, bull-like. He moves in there, he rushes, he uses that weight of his, he mauls around, and that that's Von Krupp in, in his efforts to come out on top in every match. He's not a man who makes points by going away. He wants to be on the offense. And that time, <laughs> Lothario was pretty offensive. Lothario watches closer. You notice how the German that time, as he fell down, took that arm with him and took Lothario off balance so that he could uh, take command. Pressure is on the hand. There's the pressure on the arm itself, down on the, on the elbow. Now he's using his left arm as a means of holding and then the right arm for pushing. He comes up with a hammerlock, and which is a hold that most people recognize, but very few people have ever really felt uh, outside of those who do it for a living. As he captures that far side, he keeps that hammerlock underneath and he goes for a pinfall with the hammerlock. Lothario with that arm of his underneath the middle of the back presses the weight down so that the arm itself becomes 
uh, an asset as far as Von Krupp is concerned. The shoulders are close, awful close. And now as Lothario moves up on the other shoulder, it gives him just a little bit more opportunity to fight the effects of the hammerlock. Von Krupp now being rolled over, but he's still got the hold. Which is more important, the position or the hold? Depends what Jose does with the position in which he suddenly finds himself. The push by Von Krupp, he still got the arm that gives him, uh, gave him a full opportunity to get those blows in there, but he forgot the effectiveness of Jose Lothario's right-handed wallop. He rolls and decides that on the floor is just a little bit better than being in the ring and taking those wallops from Jose Lothario. Von Krupp has some of the effectiveness of the European style of wrestling. He's, he's tough from the waist up, which is a fundamental with Greco-Roman wrestlers. And he has learned enough all-round wrestling in England and on some parts of the continent to be able to do well at American wrestling even before he had a lot of experience in it. The fans want Lothario to lay it in there, and lay it in there he does. A handful of no's, and a generous smattering of elbow, and Von Krupp is splashed on that canvas. Jose on top, but notice that leg over there. That may pin. Danny McShane, he hasn't been pinned in a long time. <laughs> and that takes the skin off your nose. So Von Krupp now comes a cropper as he, his efforts to use the hammerlock to pin Jose failed, and it has spurred Jose into an all out effort. Lothario now measuring him for a set of knuckles and turns it into a side head, into a head chancery. That's just a different way of applying something that is akin to a headlock. And trouble for Lothario. Notice those big, heavy boots worn by, by Von Krupp. Now those boots he could wear in a snowstorm. Lothario couldn't possibly go out in any kind of inclement weather. His uh, boots were made for the ring, but not the boots that are worn by Von Krupp. And when he lays those kicks in there, he's got plenty of leather support. The grip is on the muscle on the side of the neck, the trapezius muscle. The fans are whooping and hollering for Lothario to get up and get into it. There is the pressure being applied by one hand reinforcing the other. You feel that all the way down into the tips of your fingers. Now, the one mistake Van Krupp is making is that he's applying it on the left side and he is not damaging the arm or the hand that does the most effective work for, for Lothario, and that is the right one. Now listen to those fans as they roar to put Jose Lothario back onto his feet.
Now he's got it on the net. He's got a grip at the base of the neck. This is not as effective. It's tough, but it's not as effective. He can't bite into the muscle as well. And with a thick neck like Jose Lothario's, he is able to minimize the effectiveness of the grip. And there goes the right that wasn't touched. He threw the left up there to try to get it moving. It didn't move very fast, but the right came over there nicely. And he came in there grabbing that left side again, and he didn't miss. He clamped down there and clamped hard. comes in there he's got a grip on each side but he's facing Lothario and that is the weakness of his grip at the present time but it was all he could get and he was grabbing for anything Lothario laying those rights in there nicely and they're having an effect that one he tried to get at the throat and comes the boot that big boot that effective boot that hard boot Look, he, he, he came running in there, not with the foot first, but he's got the German claw on him, and the Therio is down, and he uses the claw hold as a means of gaining a pinfall. So Von Krupp scores first in this two out of three fall match. That means there are two falls, or one fall still to go in this battle. We'll be back here in a moment. Right now, we pause for this word from the studio. There's the bell to start the second fall of this match. Jose has not yet risen to his feet, but he caught a barrage of blows that, with the, that foot that time. He caught one or two during the, the intermission when Von Krupp came over and walked all over him. The claw hold, and Jose is in trouble. Von Krupp is capable of turning the claw hold into a pin, and he uses it mighty effectively when, when he does. <laughs> the ropes were interfering, the referee called for the break, and that was the reason for the hold being broken at that time. We were in the tight shot on the hold, so you could not see the referee doing the signaling, but here is Von Krupp. He's back again, and this it means Lothario, as he is on his knees, is sure, pure game, fair game for that, that kind of attack from, from Von Krupp. And here he comes in there to finish it, but he didn't get close to his target, and one of the effective means of blocking or breaking the iron, an iron claw, a German claw, or bionic claw is to keep somebody from getting it. There is the grip on Von Krupp's wrist to make him fight to get that on there. He did not get it down. He's reaching out for it. Jose has the option now to get his head out of, out of trouble, but he is more interested in maintaining a good tight grip. Ooh. And that's method number two of avoiding the German claw, and that is to weaken the weapon. And now as he works on that arm, you can see Jose Lothario's game plan. What he's trying to do here is to make it impossible for the German to use that uh, claw hold. And then he's got one less worry. And of course, that's the biggest. Oh, there was a great effort. What he, what he did was to come down with his knee against the bent wrist and uh, kneel on it. That'll do it.
but he got a thumb in the eye. Yes, that's one place where you can offset all the strength and all of the effort in the world is to just with one little thumb find that eye, the weakest part of any man. Lothario now trying to compound the punishment that he's given the German, and he sure is. Top man, Lothario, there's one, there's two. Got him with a nice wallop, and if I say right to the whiskers, I hope you'll pardon me. There's one, there's two, and he got a shoulder up. And you could hear the groan out of the fans here. They were ready to whoop for that third count, but the third count never came. And he lays it in there with a vengeance, with a vengeance. Hard landing, he's got the slam, he could get the, well he's gone for the, he's not fast enough to, right smack on the button, Jose Lothario, and he lays it in there well. There it is. He's in the second fall, four minutes, 29 seconds, Jose Lothario. Takes it in just under five minutes, and this means that we will have a third and deciding fall in this match, and we'll be back here for it right after we have this word from the studio. Four, three, two, one, amen. There is the bell. We start off now with Jose Lothario on even terms with Carl von Krupp, and von Krupp who felt the effectiveness of that blow because he was coming into it is unwilling now to start off this uh, fall by getting caught again. You can see that. And he decided to change his mind in mid-air, as a matter of fact. And it was effective. He got out of the way and he didn't get hit. And that, of course, is the, is the strong point. And Von Krupp is, I think he's asking for timeout. Uh, uh, there is no timeout in wrestling. There is time between falls, but this is only for to give a man a chance to recover and to, and that's right and proper. Oh, he laid that one in there. And when Jose is right, he's right. And here he comes in with the stomach claw. And this is an effective weapon for Jose Lothario, the driving effort into the stomach. And he found it there on the tough, rugged German, Karl von Krupp. And there you see a picture of a man with a bellyache. Lothario is a little cautious, and well he might be, as he moves in there, he is liable to step into a mess of trouble. He did. Von Krupp is a perennially tough egg. He is hard to handle. And I'm, there he goes for a chokehold, and you notice the referee stepping right in. There was no question about the about the chokehold effort, but that hand went on the trapezius muscle right down on the right shoulder. Fans now start to give Lothario their support. They start to whoop and they start to holler to get him up to his feet. Those boots again. He's setting him up for another boot. No, he set him up for an effort to 
grabbed the claw hold and grabbed the, he, he hit that rope so hard that our monitor went splashing all over the floor here and we, we got it back again, but that was the reason for the sudden cessation of description. Ferrio's in tough trouble. The very fact that his hair is very short at this stage of his career. Is, here he goes for the stomach claw. It's claw against claw. He's biting away at the middle of uh, Carl von, uh, von Krupp and... Well, we've got Jose Lothario on one side. We've got Carl von Krupp on the other. And they smashed into a head on meeting of minds if you will but here's von Krupp he's up and he's going around after after Lothario Lothario is moving away and we've got a battle going here with neither man in in particularly good condition that was a hard uh, meeting they had there a crashing uh, blow and we've got both of them counted out here on the floor as the and Von Krupp is trying to get back in this match has has ended they have both been counted out but there even at that there is a certain uh, glory in being the first one that gets back in the ring you try to convince everybody that you weren't beaten that you were able to get back in the ring and Von Krupp doesn't want Jose to get back in there any more than Jose wants him and we've got the claw hold effort as they start to go up the aisle and Von Krupp is halfway up the aisle. The referee is moving after him. The match has been declared a draw. Both men counted outside the ring. 